What's up, YouTube? Smoking Dank 5280 coming at you for Couch Jockey Gaming, and today I am doing my review of the Astro A50 wireless headphones for the PS4. These are Astro's flagship headphones, and these are pretty much what set the standard for gaming headphones. Now there are there are more expensive headphones out there. These ones retail for $300, and these are the Generation 2 um, headsets. There are ones that retail for more, but holy shit, more than $300 for a set of headphones. That's for that's for the audiophiles out there that are just like nuts about their sound. I I don't can't even imagine spending over $300 for a set of gaming headphones. That's and that's one thing I want to mention first. This is a gaming review. I'm not using these to listen to uh, music. I'm not using these to listen to movies, take phone calls, or anything like that. This is strictly how they sound for gaming on the PlayStation 4 and how the mic uh, performs for broadcasting, recording video, as well as chatting on the PlayStation 4. So, now that we got that out of the way, there are a few other things that I would like to make clear that is specific to these headphones. I did not spend $300 on these. I bought these slightly used here locally from an adult gamer for 200 bucks. I could not see spending $300 on these. They sound great. I like the build quality. We're going to go over all of that, but they do have one fatal flaw for me, which is so fucking frustrating. I was ready to just chuck them out the window. So, thanks for watching. Let's get right into this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. For more videos, hit that subscribe button. But it is time to break down and see what the fuck is going on with the Astro A50s on the PS4. Whoa! Now the first thing you're probably going to say is smoke, those are not the PS4 head, uh, Astro A50s, those are the Xbox One editions, and they are. However, the only difference between these and a PlayStation 4 is the color. These also came with the Xbox chat cable, so if I ever get the Xbox One, I don't have to go out and buy another chat cable. So in all honesty, the fact that they're white and green doesn't bother me one bit. I'm not a fanboy on either side. I just have a PlayStation because that's what I've been gaming on for years and that's where all my friends that's are. Incredible. But anyway, getting onto these, we do not have a detachable mic. We've got this flexible mic here, which is really, really sensitive. It mutes by just putting it in the up position. I'm gonna apologize for my camera just because I'm not used to having to do this all backwards. But that's how we bring the mic down. We've got, on the bottom, we've got our charging cable, as well as, or charging port, as well as the port for the Xbox chat cable. On the other side, let's see if I can do this without fucking this up too much, we have our volume control, and this is so difficult to do on the camera. We've also got our EQ right there as well as our power button which is just a simple push button on to turn them on, push it again to turn them off, hold it for a few seconds to put it into pairing mode. With this you also get your transmitter which is your power supply, this is where everything goes from, you charge from this and you set your Dolby with this. You've got the power button right there and your Dolby button. I'm not gonna hit him because it will kick off the microphone and this will go blank. But real simple here and to be quite honest, Turtle Beach has more options on their headphones when it comes to the presets right there. We've only got three. We've got a bass, a flat line, um, a music one, which I don't even use. It sounds like hell for games and a pro one, which amplifies your high notes so you can hear better. I wish there were more options. I wish like on the Turtle Beach ones we had 16 I believe is what I had on the PX50 ones that I tried. Um, I had those last week. Unfortunately they came to me damaged and I finally buy, bought the bullet and bought these ones. But that is what these look like. I will say this. To adjust them it takes a little bit of getting used to. We've got this kind of metal rail there that these slide up and down on both sides. And I'll be honest, if you get them adjusted right, these are probably the most comfortable headphones I have ever used. I tried those Turtle Beach 500Ps, the 500 are the Stealth Air Force ones. You can check the review I did on those. Fucking horrible. I've seen people trying to compare these to those 500s. Don't even bother. These could compare to the 800s. I haven't used the Turtle Beach 800s, but like I said, these are probably some of the most comfortable headphones I have ever put on. 
Other thing to note, which I forgot to mention, is on this panel, this clicks back and forth to adjust between chat volume and game volume. You set your master volume on with that wheel on the side and then use that big old rocker button right there to set which direction you want to hear more. But the build on these is solid. They feel fucking great. The comfort is out of this world. But like I said, there's still one major flaw with them and we're going to get to that here in just a second. All right, so this is what the Astro A50 sound like on the PS4, just in regular chat mode. Uh, this isn't a voiceover or anything like that, not a commentary after the fact. This is while I'm playing, so you can hear what it sounds like and what it sounds like if you record the footage on the PS4, as well as this is what it'll sound like for... Oh, I need this guy to shut up. What it'll sound like for your friends listening to this in their chat. And I have no complaints about this. The sound has been really good. Uh, everybody that I've talked to that can hear, that's been in a chat party, has said the uh, chat is really good. So like you can see, in-game, we have no sound issues. Um, and the actual audio that I'm hearing is amazing. Take care of these motherfuckers. There we go, get that affinity too. So up next, I want to talk about what I don't like about these headphones. And I really wish that somebody had mentioned some of this stuff in the big reviews. Because before I bought these, I read GameSpot, I read Kotaku, I read a bunch of other reviews. And everybody's saying these are the most expensive gaming headphones out there. But they are so fucking worth it. And overall, they really are. But I do have a couple issues with them. The first issue being the sound quality or the mic quality when trying to do a commentary using PlayStation's Share Factory program. Now, to be fair, that program has had issues with mics all over the board since day one. But here is a clip of what it sounds like doing a voiceover in PlayStation Share Factory. And note that I have the mic volume set just about as low as it can go without being muted. Turn down your speakers. It's going to sound like shit. I will cut it short. Today, I'm going to cover really quickly some of the new information we have for The Elder Scrolls Online's newest DLC that is coming out later this month for PC gamers and next month for console gamers. God, that just sounded fucking horrible. Okay, so moving on from that, there's got to be a fix for that. There's got to be a setting. There's got to be something out there. Astro will tell you to download the latest firmware. Make sure your transmitter's on the latest firmware, and I can tell you mine is... All of it's on the latest firmware, it is all good to go, and that's what it sounds like. But the biggest issue I have with these headphones, and I cannot believe that a $300 set of headphones doesn't come with this feature, and once you hear, you're going to go, what the fuck? And I cannot believe that I did not read about this in any fucking review, and this issue has been an issue since 2012 with the first set of Astro A50s. There are f pages and pages and pages of this shit on their forums, and they have done nothing to fix it. What I'm talking about is there is no way to actually hard power cycle these headphones off. If they freeze up, like we know every bit of electronics these days does your laptop will freeze up google chrome will crash firefox will crash your iphone will crash your tablet will crash everything we own at some point will crash our playstation 4s will crash our routers will, will crash and what is the first thing you do what is the first thing any tech support will tell you to do power it off Unplug it. Do whatever you can to make the damn thing turn off so the software can start again fresh and go from there. And what happens? 99% of the fucking time just resetting whatever piece of technology is giving you a hard time fixes it. Well, let me tell you something. There's no fucking way to do this on the Astro A50s. There is no way to actually power them down or do a hard reset in the event that they lock up. And let me tell you what. These are electronics. They will fucking lock up, and they do lock up. They locked up on me yesterday, and it took me 26 hours for the battery to die and to where I could reset them because they had to finally drain themselves. I cannot believe with these headphones that such a tiny, 
tiny little oversight could bring, literally bring these fucking headphones to their knees. What ends up happening is if your pl headphones freeze up, every single button is rendered useless. You cannot power them down. You cannot sync them. You cannot try to repair them. You cannot try to, you can't pull the battery because there's no way to pull the battery. You are just fucked and you have to wait 20 something hours if you're on a full charge. And I shit you not, 26 hours for my battery to completely die off of that little LED. Great battery life, but that's just some bullshit. How the fuck you don't put a power off button on these? That's just nuts. So everything being great on these, when your headphones lock up, which they almost guaranteed will at some point, because that's just the way technology works, you are literally fucked for the next eight hours if you're lucky. Few hours if you'd been drained, if the battery's almost already drained. But if they are sitting on a full charge, you are fucked for the next full day at least. My ticket from tech support says to let the battery drain. Now here's the thing, there is no phone number to call Astro. I'm dead fucking serious. There is no way to get a hold of Astro and say, hey, my headphones don't work. They fucking suck. I can't get them to turn off. What you have to do is email these motherfuckers, and it takes them one to two days to get back to you. So, in the time it takes for them to get back to you, your headphones will have already depleted their battery, and you will be able to plug them in and go ahead and play like normal. So, whoopee, your problem's been solved. But the big problem is, why the fuck is there not a way to power cycle these off? And I can only come up with a few reasons, and I'm gonna give you my reasons, and these are the reasons that after these A50s finally die, and I hope they don't, I will not be purchasing another one unless they implement a way to power cycle these off. So. The reasons these don't have a power cycle off feature is one, their designers, their techs, their specialists, their engineers were too stupid to put a power off button. If that's the case, I do not want to buy products from a company whose sole purpose, their biggest employees who design these things are too stupid to realize it needs a way to hard power off. The second reason I can think that they didn't put one on is the fact that they are so arrogant to think that their hardware and their software were ne will never fail that it's just not necessary. That right there, that kind of arrogance put me in a situation where I couldn't use these fucking headphones for 26 hours. If your company is that arrogant to think that your shit will never have an issue, I'm not doing business with you. They all, everything has an error. Everything fucking breaks at some point. You guys need to accept that. What other reason could they not have put a power off button? Is after the fact that they realized they needed one, it was a little too expensive and they didn't want to deal with the cost of that. If you can't put in like a $2 at most, $2 switch, but let's be real, you're buying them in bulk, they're costing pennies, and adjust your firmware to hard turn off your, your fucking headphones, if that's not important enough for you, for your customers to be able to use these whenever they want, what the fuck is wrong with you, Astro? Again, not doing business with you. Other than that, I love these things, they're great. I can't fault them on anything other than a stupid feature that should be there and hasn't been fixed in years. It is 2015, they have had complaints about this since 2012 and it's not fixed. And for that reason, and that reason alone, I would not recommend you pick these up. Who the fuck doesn't put a power off button? But that's gonna do it for this review. If you like the review, give it a thumbs up. For more videos, hit that subscribe button. I will be back, oh, I can't believe I missed that. I'll be back with some more videos. Reaper will be back with some more videos. Um, thanks for watching. Smoke weed, play games. I am fucking out of here.